Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 3 with me and Sandman. Say hello. Hello. Uh, today, uh, you might see some things are a little bit differently. Um, a lot has happened since the last episode. Uh, do you want to kind of explain what all went down with episode 3 and uh, why things are different, Sandman? Yeah, well, we recorded episode 3, and if you guys don't know, we were recording on a public server. And we had our own space to really do what we want. But there were rules in place by that server. There were certain things that we couldn't do. So we actually recorded episode three and we found out the hard way that uh, there were policies in place. For instance, a mob farm, we, we can't have traditional like non-AFK automatic mob farms. And it was just really crazy. And a admin ended up approaching us and letting us know about all this stuff. So it wasn't really the, ha you know... It, like, they were very polite and very kind, but it yeah, just they're, wasn't they're what we were looking polite. for. Yeah, it was it was more of a hassle. And uh, so we decided to buy our own server. So we are completely on our own here. This is our server, our world. We can do whatever we want. Oh, and uh, on that public server, we won't, we weren't allowed to go to space. So that was... Yeah. And uh, another big thing, um, just in case, I'm going to do this. But I got made fun of for jumping off and dying. And I believe it was because it was a public server. So let's see if I am teleported to the nether. All right. Well, dang, that sucks. That sucks. I was so sure of myself. And I died again. Oh, wow. Oh, no. But you're not a ghost here, though. Yeah. So that's good. You're not like a floating pickaxe in a cave. Good. You just got like a whole bunch of stuff like around yeah. you. Yeah. They, they had a ton of stuff disabled on the server. Like I couldn't even use a hopper to fill like a buck, like, yeah, this, like this crucible with lava. Um, yeah. But yeah. We got a lot more automated stuff than what we had before. We just, we're pretty much, we can do whatever we want. Also, the sky's literally our limit. Yeah. <laughs> and also. That was, the other server was EU based and this is US based and we've got you know more RAM just for the two of us and no one else is on loading up big bases so uh, overall things are going to be a lot smoother on this series so we're really happy that we're able to do this um, and we're going to have a lot of fun so let's pretty much jump into the episode now. What is your to-do list for today's episode Sandman? We're going to build a mob farm. We are going to complete the quest of, let me pull it up real quick, of mob farming so we need to kill one zombie one skeleton one creeper and one ancient golem and that is what this is for we're going to build it out that way what's your plan so i want to figure out a storage system so there's something called a shelving unit uh so i'm going to look into that and then maybe if i have time afterwards uh try and start working on power generation with lava and magma crucibles because we can automatically make cobblestone which we can automatically feed into one of these to power lava and then if i get some transport pipes i can automatically feed that into a machine and uh get some power going automatically so that is you know self-sustaining which will be nice sounds good so let's uh work on that <laughs> yeah and we can now actually pvp each other so we couldn't yeah. do that last time so i need to get sawdust and water where's my bucket at there it is so in order to get sawdust, I need to take a hammer to some logs. There, that's more than enough. And now I've got paper, and I just need to combine that with iron bars. Easy enough. All right, so just we, like that. There are um, some islands out here with blue slime. So now I need iron grate machine blocks. Uh, I can also upgrade this furnace to a gold furnace real quick, I think. Because that should be a quest. Oh, there's a gold furnace. So, it needs to be... There we go. Let's get some random acts of kindness. Um, I am about done with the shelving unit, if you want to come look. I know you already know what this looks like. Um, it looks... Okay. Yeah. I was just going to say, it looks a little bit different, but yeah. Yep. Yeah, it looks like a warehouse shelf. We gotta fill it with some chests. Just like so. Fill this level, and fill this level. There, now it's max capacity. And 
each level is like its own storage thing, I think, but you can just search between levels. So now I'm just going to fill everything up. Uh, also, we have uh, fully completed our smeltery, so uh, whenever we smelt ores, we should put it in there um, because it, dub it, du it doubles the output. I seriously just made an item duct even though like I need fluid ducts, and I knew I needed fluid ducts, but... Extract. Okay, so a servo extracts yeah, items and fluid, so iron, redstone, iron, redstone, not in there. I need some redstone out of here, okay. And make a couple there things and nuggets. Okay, I've got two uh, storage bins, but that is nice, because they store like a lot of... Uh, Base for this cobblestone. And then let's grab. How do you make here. invar? I think it's silver and something else. Iron and nickel. Oh, I was not even close. So there's two different magmatic like generators. There's one from Extra Utilities 2 and one from Thermal Expansion. I'm gonna go for the Thermal Expansion one. Because I know that yes. they're upgradable and stuff, and I don't know how the other ones work. But if uh, if anyone knows if this one is good, let me know, and I can pursue that oh, as well. This old zombie. I don't know what that oh, is. Oh, they made Invar harder. Well, we are on Titan mode. Like, I can't just pour it out into a... But you can't? No, I can't. So you have to make, you can't just pour, like, because I'm assuming you're making it via Tinkers. Yeah, but I can't do it via Tinkers. They disabled it. And so I actually have to pulverize it or crush it. Gotcha. That's, that's a mod pack thing. Yep. In Titan mode. Wow. Look at, I'm a, like a pulverizer. <laughs> they literally made everything more difficult. You need for the machine frame. You need a oh, a theory press to make it here. for what a metal press for what you need a metal pr to make the uh, the gear. No, you don't. No, no, you can oh, just get you it. Can I... make a gear pass. Yeah. Okay, and just do that. Okay, that's. But no, the big thing is the machine frame. If you click on the machine frame, you need ethereal glass, and you need a moonstone. Lunar reactive dust. So we have to go to the nether before I can do the make a pulverizer. So oh, you do? yeah. So how just good old fashioned How did we do that? Oh yeah, okay. So I've got obsidian. I thought there was a way for me to put water in this to make obsidian or Alright, I'm making obsidian. Alright. We it looks like we're going to the nether in this episode. I'm only going to the nether to find a little bit of lunar dust, and then I'm done. Okay. I hate the nether. I know there's an easier way to do this, but I forgot how. Okay, so just to let you know, these uh, two carrot carrots give you uh, nausea. So... <laughs> uh, two more pieces of obsidian, and then we're going to the nether. I hope flint still isn't hard to make. Do we have actual, like, do we have coal? Yeah, shit. I've got some on Do me. Do we have nine coal? Yeah, here you go. I, okay, because I wonder. Let's make an actual coal block real quick. I'm gonna try this. I am working on getting some stuff. Common huh? loot bag, nether wart. Sweet, we got nether wart. So we need diamond blocks in order to get the twenty-four carat. Plus, which will give us resistance one, strength one, health boost, and regen. Regeneration for only 30 seconds, and then the rest for nine seconds. And we need to mass produce those. Why do we need to mass produce stuff for carrot carrots, though? I have no idea. Like, just we just have to do it enough to get the quest. Did you say you had cotton? Yeah, I had cotton seeds. Uh, can you plant that? Yep. 
Yeah, we actually do need the ore for the for the um You don't have it. We need a uh, we need to extend your thing so for spiders, I need string. Carrot carrots. Okay. So, I actually do need the ore blocks in order to do all this. We need four carrot carrots, six or one of each. I've made a flint and steel, which is actually a lot harder than you might think because you have to use steel. You can't use iron. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to leave our diamond pickaxe here. Okay, I'm going to throw this in here. We're going to leave the axe there. So, I need to find pretty much one of each ore in the nether. Because if we look at, like, iron ore, the only way you can get it is from smelting. You can smelt, you can combine it with stone or iron dust, but we need a combiner. Uh, I'm honestly not sure if there's mining dimension. Some things have mining dimensions. I'm gonna guess it, there okay. might just be a thing called mining dimension portal, maybe? Maybe not. Not sure. Okay. That's, um... All right, I'm in the nether. Ah! That doesn't sound good. Oh, I got heat sand. That's that's really good. That's even better than that blaze mesh. For uh, getting lava. I found nether coal ore. So there right, you go. Yeah, I grab that. Oh. Um, yeah, I don't think we have a mining dimension, but... Okay. I need to pretty much find one of each ore and then smelt it. I see some I see wither ore. I see some wither skeletons. Nether diamond ore, nether nickel ore. Grab it. Um I think me mining that aggro's pigman. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. No, he has not hit me. I need to get this uh yeah, lunar lunar yeah, ore right these now. These are um nether ores. Oh, fox out, jeep. Get run, pigment behind you. <laughs> I'm going back through. I just want to be your friend. I'm going back Come through. Here. Okay, I'm home. Okay, I think the best course of action is actually to get a tinker's thing and just silk touch. Get a tinker's tool and silk touch. Oh, uh, um, tinker's pickaxe. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to take my chances, though. Do you have any iron that I... Oh, wait. Here's an iron pick. And this... Um, not much iron, really. Whatever, whatever's in there. We have, like... Put it in the uh, smeltery, because it... I think it doubles it. So I got some of that ore, though. Uh, I'll put it in the... For you. I'll put it in the thing. Yeah. Yeah, you just smelt it, and it actually gives you... If you get... Okay, check this out. Okay. You smelt a nether diamond ore, Okay. you get two diamond ore. Yeah, oh, two diamond ore. Okay, it's cool. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Diamond cool. Ore. So, um... Yeah, we're gonna need silk touch to pick this up. I'm working on the silk touch right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna place... It's gonna be. Yeah, it's cool. actually gonna be a while for. So I need a lot of string. So. Okay. But once you get some arrows, let me know, cause I can make a hunting dimension portal. And then we can go to the hunting dimension, and then there's like next. That, yeah. that is, I believe, the next. Um, yeah. That after is. this. All right, I've got nine stacks of dust that I am now going to sieve. See in an hour. I'm getting a ton of cotton. Twenty-one string. Okay, I need more. <laughs> Got enough string. I need some gold. I think I'm about to have. Oh, imp. I think I'm about to have. Uh, what's it called? Okay. Silk touch. Cobalt or I'm not finding any like lapis or emerald at all. I think I think I got it. I need that lunar ore dust, the pit, real pink stuff. That's what I'm coming for now. Ah! Oh! Oh, wither web. I'm stuck. Salmon, yeah, come at progression 5% on this thing. I'm stuck. Oh, God. 
Oh, jeez. I got a demon sh sheep that's kind of stalking me. I'm dead. I got you. Gotta kill. I gotta kill that black widow. Okay. I just died. That wither web is what died. was. That wither web is what was so bad. I got. I got like pulverized by a herd of demon sheep. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. I saw that. That's hysterical. I never thought that I would. Okay. Got my stuff back. I'm gonna go find some lunar ore. Oh, I see a nether fortress. Very close. Dude, I don't see any lunar ore. Alright, one second. I'll show you where I saw them. Okay, thank you. Oh, I see I see right. a piece. I see a piece. Actually, I'm good. I see a piece. Are you good? Yep. I literally... I don't need uh, that much. I just need a couple. <laughs> I don't think I set a home. Oh, it's a big black widow. <gasps> I'm running. Oh, that was big, dude. It's huge. <laughs> it is massive. Man, just these ancient golems are just not spawning at all. Okay, sweet. I got uh, it. Hemp seeds. That's a quest. Uh, evidently. I got the engineer's hammer. Got some lunar ore. Lunar reactive dust. And an uncommon loot bag with the friender pearl frozen core. That's actually pretty good. Oh, that's enough. Oh, wait, no, it's not. How do I do ethereal glass? Yeah, I need uh, eight of these. Okay. So I need um, basic math. Six more lunar pieces, things. So gonna fix up the pick. And I'm going to now mine for lunar dust for probably ever. So we'll see how long this takes. Ooh, drop of evil. You know what that means. Oh, yeah. Cursed Earth. We got a, a real, real good mob farm. We can make us eventually. I see the dust. I see it. I see the final pieces! And you can teleport to home through dimensions, so set a home here. Because uh, I just teleported to it from like the middle of nowhere in the nether. Oh, you can't? You can, you can. I oh, just, yeah, I teleported straight here from the middle of nowhere. Okay, and finally, I have made Moonstone. Now I'm gonna surround this Moonstone with glass and boom ethereal glass eight pieces this stuff is awesome i think it has an actual use in the outside world but our use is going to be i can now make a pulverizer okay so what has happened is i now have ethereal glass which means i can make the machine frame for the pulverizer uh so i've made a gear mold now so now i can actually uh You know, make the the gears. Well, some of the gears you can just craft okay. in like in a in a crafting grid, like the iron gear and stuff. Uh, but some you need to do this whole thing. I've got a pulverizer. Sweet. At least you're getting stuff done. Oh yeah, man, totally. Getting quests complete. There's no ancient golems want to spawn. That bad. So how can I power the pulverizer since I don't have it? I just need a basic generator. I have Invar! Finally! Get over here. Now I needed this for something I can do in the next episode. If you would like. And yep. And you can make it your yeah. So let's explain this real quick for the audience. Uh, next episode we are not going to be together. So on every yep. like every five episodes, but on like before the five, I don't know how to explain it. But like for episode four, for episode nine, for episode fourteen, for episode nineteen, it's gonna be solo episodes. 
and then we're gonna come back every you know on the fifth episode and then the 10th and the 15th and the 20th on multiples of five and it's gonna be like show and tell uh i'm gonna go do something um you know for the base and then sam is gonna go off and do some stuff for the base but it's gonna be separate so you should definitely check out both of our episodes for that and you should definitely check out both episodes for this because we've both been kind of doing our own thing and that's kind of yep. what, what we do anyways so this one was kind of a boring episode yeah but it was definitely a necessary one we got you know storage done and we, we you know uh i've got power well, power I'm generation now too kind of boring yeah i got power generation now as well and uh this heat sand oh uh, yeah Next episode, if you guys want to tune out for it, I'm probably going to be working on setting up automatic lava power generation, and uh, I'm I'm sure Sandman's going to be working on the mob farm and uh, possibly the hunting dimension. So, yep, as yeah, tons of grindy work on that. Uh, ghost wood fletching. You can use ghost wood fletching to make four arrows. Ghostwood or leaf fletching. We could actually do this right now if you want. Ghostwood or le fletching. leaf fletching. Leaf fletching really is, would be better. Oh, uh, can we use like a tinker's no, arrow? No, no. But you can use three leaf fletchings instead of feathers to make a normal arrow. Let's do that, and then I think we just there's what, we three need... leaf fletching. If you just put it around it like in a V at the bottom. And then the six above, and then the flint above that. Oh, okay. I see here. Did you and get them? Then... Yep. You got four arrows? And... Yep, I got four arrows. And then we're going to need wood. Yep. Probably need a bu more than 11. Here, I'll throw some on uh... you. Here, real quick, can I turn this into a crafting thing? Or a tinker's thing? Yeah, so, tinkers. I can, so I can see yeah. it. Oh. <laughs> Come on, man, focus. I know, you know, crafting table bandit, and you know, I just messing up, man. All right, there you go. All right, there we go. And then we're going to do here, grab this, put this around like so. I think that's too much, but that's fine. Dude. That's the quest. All right. Hunting dimension, yep. finally. You want to give right. it to me? And then we need to place this somewhere. But let's put it by this portal in like a corner. Like, do it like along these four so. like like where right. yeah click it right, do, do you have a do sword have... do you have a sword i do have a sword oh wait i need to it's almost dead do i have no any... no just click it just click the sword just click it with the sword yeah there we go. And I need to actually remake a sword. You want to go in? Okay. Oh, I'm gosh. going in. Uh, yeah, hit shift. All right. Oh, so much grass. Just get all the silk touch. Oh, geez. Oh, Pete's. Yep. Is everything all like night vision to you? Uh... It definitely looks weird. I, I wouldn't say it's night vision. Like it's a green. Oh yeah, it's, defi it's definitely definitely green. Here. There, I got grass. I'm I'm leaving. All feel, right. feel free to um, feel free to get yourself a golem. Look, man, more grass. We have infinite dirt now. Nice. Okay, I got a piece of red wool, and I can probably make a market. Do you remember the market? Do you know what a market is? A market? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna want to see this. Come here. Where you at? What's up? And place it there. You missed it. He fell from the sky. <laughs> went <laughs> boom. And uh, I was just like, what the heck? Now we what can trade heck? for like. You want to? Uh, you want to see something nice? Oh, a whole bunch of like seeds and stuff. Oh, look, this is painted harvest craft market. swap matic Furnace generator to a pulverizer to a survival generator. Nice. Hey, man, look. The best wood. Dark oak wood. Dark oh, oak wood. We got it. Oh, I'm going to... I don't want to spend more RIK, so I'm going to use a crook to make sure I get more. 
Did you spend? I spent. RIK? I spent four RIK on four saplings. Okay. But now I have seventeen, and we now have dark oak wood, so we can purify the base a little bit now. We or, can. Or we can start, you know, on just yeah, building some stuff up. So that'll be nice. That will be. We definitely still have so much stuff, like early game oh, yeah. crap we're, around that we definitely need just... a large area to just place crap in. So, yeah. Yeah, we're just getting started with it. So, might be we a need while. to figure out what we need to do and everything like that. We're kind of just a typical sky block yeah. <laughs> platform. We need to purify it, make it look better. Yep. Give this guy a home. Give him like a little shop. Maybe actually. maybe that could be an episode five thing. Episode five we could uh purify stuff up. Could. Yeah. After we do show and tell. Yep. Well I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna enhance this uh mob farm here, make this uh yeah. an actual automated There's a farm. something you should keep in mind is there's a like a vacuum hopper and it will store XP as well. So you need to have a if you use a um there's a certain type of thing i don't know if it's the diamond spikes or something else that it counts as a player kill so they drop xp as well so that will store xp and then you can get a tank to put it in and then we can okay. have like an unlimited, unlimited XP, xp pretty much yeah gotcha so i will definitely keep that in mind yep i'm sure. going can to I jump on this i can't oh. uh maybe cool so you want to sign off for the day you ready yep all right guys thank you so much for checking out this episode of project ozone 3 we got a lot done in this episode i know it doesn't it might not look like it but we got we went to the nether we went to the hunting dimension we got unlimited grass and dirt so we can make things look nice and green and pretty and i'm so excited for it <laughs> um we also got power generation a mob farm a market block um a storage system you know an early game storage system so yeah uh, we got a whole bunch of stuff we, we really got a lot of stuff done this episode and uh if we were on that other server none of this pretty much would have been possible because there's so many yeah, limitations no. so uh definitely really yeah. happy to continue the series here uh just me and sandman and uh we'll see you guys in the next one thanks so much yeah.